it seems pretty clear from the leaks to Robert Fife of the Globe and Mail from some intelligence agencies that the Chinese government, the communist government, tried to and in fact may have influenced the last election. The prime minister has put in a series of, I guess, inquiries, two bodies inquiring, and they don't report to him because he doesn't have the chops to decide it. He's going to pick someone to decide what has to happen then. Well, Jeff Turner is a tax lawyer in Toronto, former conservative candidate, joins me right now because I want to put the question to you. Are you concerned about a foreign Chinese government trying to influence our MPs? I'm concerned about any foreign government trying to influence the outcome of our Canadian elections. It, it's appalling. We need to defend our, the integrity of our election process far more vigorously than we've been doing so far. Well, there was, there's a, a Toronto MP of Chinese origin, and we have to always be, care, be careful when we're talking about it's not main Chinese people, it's the government. But he, Mr. Dong, absented himself when there's a vote in the House of Commons criticizing the Chinese government. The vote before he was there, the vote after he was there, for this one, he was out. And there's allegations that the Chinese government helped him get elected. Yeah, like well, that, that's, very, that... that's concerning, but you know what? I don't really want to speak about any particular case. What really troubles right? me is the corrosion to our public's faith in the integrity of our democracy when we know that there has been foreign influence and that our government isn't doing enough to defend it. So, but now you know what the government is saying. Proposes to do, yes. pro right, well, with no, the special rapporteur. He yeah. just set up that's going to report to somebody else, aside from the Prime Minister. He said, the Prime Minister says, well, you make the decision. But part of the issue is, and what the inquiry would need to look into, is the response of the current government when they knew already, some time ago, that foreign governments oh, were oh, meddling in our elections. Yes, you don't That's want, the concern. You don't want them to be looking at that, do you? I absolutely do, because we need to have full transparency. The whole point of this is to ensure that Canadians continue to have faith in the outcome of our elections and that they're not being influenced by foreign parties or, frankly, anybody who has interests other than And, of course, uh, the mother's milk of, of politics, money. That's where it's coming it, from. It it's is. And we have, we have very strict campaign finance rules, and they work. I've seen it as a campaign right. in our campaign last election, and they work, and they're strict. Of, of flouting the law. But well, if you are not afraid, if you can be whizzed back to another country, if you're as charges... I, I can tell you Elections Canada is actually very rigorous in yes, enforcing those rules, as they should be. Yes. And what is so concerning is that we have allegations that those rules were indeed skirted around by some folks, and there needs to be a much closer look into that. Two steps. One, find out what happened. And two, find out what the government did when they found out about and that. And make sure it doesn't happen again. Jeff Turner, thank you very, very much. Three minutes. Thank you for contributing. We are almost out of the hole. People like the show, and we want to keep it on the air. So, press subscribe. Press PayPal. PayPal is really simply uh, a credit card that you can pay with. And if you're writing a check or a letter, please put your address in, because I will send a letter to everybody who contributes money. Subscribe, PayPal. Thank you. Mm -hmm.